Hello and welcome back to the Patient First Podcast. Today we are going to talk about acting like a victim. <laughs> I know it's it's kind of a charged topic, but it's also wrapped into uh, one of the hottest topics that's going on in dentistry right now, which is staffing, hiring your team, right? And it came about because I read a, a, a Facebook post and the corresponding discussion on Facebook in a private uh dental Facebook group that said the U S right now is the perfect example of what can quickly happen to a prosperous business. When you hire all the wrong people, I'm going to repeat it again. The U S right now, this is a point of view is the perfect example of what can quickly happen to a prosperous business when you hire all the wrong people. And then of course, what do you think the discussion was? It was about how, yeah, this team member did this. And oh my gosh, this front desk person was just being rude to people and get, getting them, and, and, and we're losing patients. And our, my business is failing because of my because of the team that work at my office. And all of this this uh, talk about how right now my prosperous dental practice is going down because we hired the wrong people. Well, well, my friends, <laughs> take a look in the mirror. Right? I mean, this is it says. The U.S. right now, they don't even say that's their practice. They say that just in general, not pointing the finger at themselves, not even their practice. It's just in general, the U.S. And uh, and and when you when you not me, when you hire the wrong people and frankly, I have hired the wrong people and it has dramatically hurt my prosperous business at times. So I want to take ownership and say, I understand what's going on here. And I'll tell you right now, I believe strongly that the the way to pathway to get to be back to be a prosperous business is to first look in the mirror and say, right now is the perfect example of what I can do to destroy my prosperous business when I hire the wrong people. That's what will help make progress. And there was not much discussion of that in the Facebook group. It was more commiserating about the the horrible people in the practice. And let's face it, you don't hire people you select them, right? And and my friends, I've selected the wrong people. Okay, so I'm not pointing at you. I'm talking just as a group, let's just agree. We can hire people, we can train them, we can hold them accountable, we can do all of the things that, that we know we can do. And and it's an excuse to say that you're you know, you're a dentist. I I think as we've talked much on this on this podcast before, you must take responsibility for for your practice. If you are a dentist, if you are a maybe you're an office manager listening to this, maybe you're a team member. You are accountable to the people that you for the people that you work with. You get to choose in most cases who you get to work with. Uh, if you don't like the practice, go somewhere else. There's probably a great practice nearby or uh, if you don't like uh, if you don't like the people that you hired, you can you know, you, you can't you can't change people but you can change people, right? Uh, or you can, oftentimes what I've found too is that if if I feel like I've hired the wrong people, I just haven't trained my people well enough. So always, always start off with accountability, training, uh, take the personality test, make sure that that person is in the right role. That's a huge, huge, huge tip right there. If you don't think, if you think you have great people who have great skills, but they very well may likely be in the wrong role. I can't tell you how many times I've had an, a team member go from, from a hygienist to working at the front desk. And heck, the my assistant, who is just absolutely key to everything we do here, uh, Megan, who, is, who many of you have, may have reached, communicated with, uh, who's just a phenomenal team member. Uh, she's had about four different roles working with me, I think. And at this point, I don't even know what she does because there's so many different aspects that she, that she takes care of. But if the first role was, was not the right key, you know, it's same thing with me. I've been through about 12 different types of careers in my career until I have been landing on the right one. So it might not be, might not be hiring the wrong pre- person. You might be, you're putting them in the wrong spot might mean that you are not training them enough, or it might just be that you selected a dud. That does happen. And guess what? Instead of uh, instead of talking about how the U.S. is changing, go ahead and make a change. I mean, I think it's drastically important to realize that the people that you work work with are a reflection of you. I'll say that again. The people that you work with are a ref- reflection of you, your leadership, your management style. So if you work with duds, get some 
do the work. We all have, we've all had to do it. That's why I created the Insanely Productive Dentist course at, at Upgrade Dental. If you want to find out more, go to UpgradeDental.com. You can watch all of it for free for, for a dollar for a month if you go to and check out a VIP plan. We have all of the leadership training and uh, uh, management and selecting and hiring and onboarding uh, information that you need in, in what we call IPD there. But it's critically important to realize that it has to first start with you. You have to get the knowledge and and then practice the knowledge and realize that it's never going to be perfect. I still I still whiff all of the time uh, when I hire people or I select people or I or I don't train them or onboard them well. That's uh, you know, we have 16 strategic initiatives going on over here. So it's it's one of my biggest flaws when we bring somebody on and I kind of just assume that they have it and they don't and that's not on them. It's on me because I haven't given them the training or haven't given them the accountability that will help them get the training that they need. So what's my point? My point today, my friends, is that uh, let's, let's, let's just pass over this pointing the finger out. Let's look at ourselves. If there's an issue in your practice, if there's an issue going on uh, in your, in basically in your life, uh, first look and see what accountability do I have and what can I do about it? When it comes to, this is a very common scenario that I'm hearing today. It's all about the, the, the lack of number of team members. It's all about uh, the team members who don't want to work. The, ooh, the, uh, the have, have you heard this one before? Gen Zs just don't want to work. Uh, that's, that's BS. The, every human being has the same genetic makeup from, you know, evolutionary, on an evolutionary scale, this takes millions of years for people to change. Sociologically, obviously things change, but the purpose of life that's in us to have fulfillment and to work hard, people want to want, want res- self-respect for the most part. And so there's, if, if you, but they need to be led, there's a leadership void in our industry. So if you step up and you are one of those leaders and you're one of those people that attracts the right team members, we talk a lot about that in, in the Insanely Productive Dentist, about being the, the type of practice, the type of leader that attracts talent, um, then I think there's, there's, no, there's no abundance of leadership in dentistry. And so if you step up and you, and you show that leadership, you'll have phenomenal people coming your way and you'll, be, you'll look back and go, oh my gosh, like I do at my team, I go, I just can't believe that I'm so lucky to work with such talented people. Um, but again, it takes work. <laughs> it takes a lot of work. And that work starts by looking in the mirror and saying, I am, I'm not, my, my business is not as prosperous as I want it to be. And it's because of the team that I've failed to hire the right people, may, select the right people, or maybe how have I failed training them? Or maybe have I failed because I haven't looked and seen that the, the tasks that I give them, the role that they're in, doesn't meet their core competencies or doesn't really fulfill that person. And we all know that one person's trash is another person's treasure. I hate details. I work with some people that just love details, right? Uh, I also don't mind uh, stepping in front of a camera and being sort of the, uh, you know, doing some things that other people don't like doing. So there's every, we all have different skill sets. Check, check your team. You know, if you, a good task to do to, to, uh, to this weekend, maybe would be to sit down and say, okay, who are my team members? What are the things we need to get done? Who's good at what and who enjoys what? And then obviously verify it with your team and shuffle things around. You know, may, you might, you might find that uh, that you'll have a rock star who's great in one category, but you've been putting the wrong person over here into into doing that task. So, so my friends, today's quick tip is to uh, is to basically take accountability. Don't don't go online and post about how the, the the United States of America in general is just tanking because of people. No, no. Take a look and see what's going on in your sphere and what you can do to help your practice and to put patients first. Obviously, we can't put patients first if we don't take care of our team because you know, our team takes care of our patients. And so, so assembling the right team, giving them the training, the tools and motivation and accountability is crucial. If you need more information, go to UpgradeDental.com and check out IPD or the Insanely Productive Dentist Series where we talk all about it and go deep. Thank you very much. And I look forward to seeing you next week right here on the Patient First Podcast.